I was ready and um, said, okay, now I'm ready to go on to something else. Dr. Cook, I know you've made a lot of connections with industry in, in your career, mm -hmm. but one that I think maybe is very interesting for UMBC is your relationship with RWD Technologies. Oh, Could yeah. you tell our viewers a little bit about yeah, that, how yeah. it got started and yeah. how it developed? Yeah, well, we you know we had uh, these uh, networking lunches where we invited people from the industry to come and just get acquainted. And um, RW and Bob Doris showed up and was part of this, um, the, this networking process. At the time, he was uh, located in Columbia. RWD stands for RW Doris, Bob Doris. Um, he owns a company, and um, he actually uh, you know, allowed us to send him interns okay. to work within the company. And these interns became employees. And so what we have is down here, uh, Bob, RWD is right here in our research park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, is a case sure where, is. this is a case where uh, we're meeting each other. There's, a, um, there's been a really good partnership between uh, academia and industry. So I think it's really unique that here RWD, Bob Doris, was one of the first persons to, move, to set up and move into the research park. And, um, and he and, uh, ended up having other companies come in. But he became, a, he was a friend. And recently, I guess maybe a year or two ago, I had not seen Bob in 10 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just decided, I'm going to go check with Bob, see how he's doing. He's doing well. I was delighted that he remembered uh, the times we'd had together. Okay. So it was good. And here he is right here at UMBC. It's, it's a case of where academia and industry mm -hmm. join, join hands. And, and we still have um, representation from RWD Technology on our program advisory board. Terrific. So yeah. that's, that's part of our, one of our outreach. Yes. So that's, yes. that's, a very, that's a very interesting story. Mm -hmm. Now, what would you like to talk about that I didn't ask you? I'd like to talk about Westinghouse. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's talk about Westinghouse. <clears throat> the relationship there was fantastic. They wanted to be involved with the university. I wanted to be involved with the industry just for a natural interest. And so we actually worked up in a partnership where uh, they would express their needs of, of a course. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would uh, take those, need, those expressed needs back to campus and I would work with other faculty and what have you, see if we could formulate a course to, su uh, to, to support Westinghouse. Okay. And then we would modify the, the initial uh, statement of needs, and then Westinghouse would modify what we said, and we negotiated back and forth, ended up with a course that fit their needs. Okay. And it was also a course that we would give credit for. But that, we repeated that process several times. And, um, at one point in time, um, we had been doing it where they received credit. We ran into a snag, and that snag was that I was asked to assume some new responsibilities on campus, and that they did not, um, that did not allow me time to teach that course from the university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, we had to stop offering it. Okay. Even though we had worked up uh, with and the partnership, the, the needs at the university prevail, what have you. So I said, well, golly, I can't just leave them hanging. So on my own, I started to um, teach in the course, but they did not receive credit. Okay. But they wanted it so badly that uh, based upon their research, they knew it worked. And so I continued to try to uh, satisfy their requirements, uh, their needs. You know, there were some real friendships developed in that process. Okay. And of course, you know, with my engineering background, I naturally love to be working with engineers. So you were one of them. Yeah, well, that's right. One <laughs> of them. They loved it because I knew the language, and and, it was, and I knew the culture. So it always was a lot of help. Yet I need to say about public schools, my entire family were teachers, so I knew that that culture also. Um, my mother was a teacher, a first grade for forty years. My dad was a principal. My brother was a music teacher. You go down there. Okay. My sister was a, uh, she taught uh, computers. Now, so it was very natural for me to be involved with the public schools. So, I had several things going for me. Okay. 
Now, in which some people may or may not know, your your son Jim oh. <laughs> went went through the program. That that's had right. to be yeah. a different experience. For yeah. uh, that doesn't happen with a lot of people. That's true, and that's uh, it would go further than that. Um, yeah, that's right. He went through the program. He got a d degree over at West, uh, well, West Western Maryland College. Uh, yeah, and then came into our program and just zoomed right through it, and it was a good fit. But then over the years. Uh, he's been very helpful to me. And um, there was one situation where I got a call from D.C. schools. Marvin, I need to get help. Mm -hmm. um, I need somebody who got your skills, but at the junior level. And I said, well, I'll look around and see what I can do. And I found all of them I had jobs, either part-time or full-time, what have you, but really were not available. And then I, when I saw about Jim, I said, well, maybe I need to mention Jim to them. And I did. And they said, immediately, let's have lunch, had supper together. That same day, as we went and met uh, with the representative from the D.C. schools, uh, they handed Jim a, a contract right, okay. on the, right on the spot. So he was very useful to, to the school system for a period of time there. Um, and we've... Um, we call it, it's, in fact, he and I were talking about this the other day. It's delightful to be able to, you know, a father and a son, to be in the same field and be able to share ideas back and forth. And it's been delightful, very that, much so. That's a great story. Well, it's very, adding to that, uh, you can cut all this out if you like. <laughs> 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 he, was, he was without a job, and like everybody else, for uh, a period of time for, because he was laid off with others. At the at the uh, where he was employed, and um, he now has a job uh, after the search for ten ten months mm -hmm. that fits him perfectly, and he and I enjoy talking and comparing notes as we go about our, uh, our careers. That's great. Yeah, it's fun. It's now, fun. one of the things that I'm curious about when I first met you, um, not in person, but I remember talking to you over the phone, and you were living you were retired and mm -hmm. you were living in Louisiana. Right at, at at the time, and then you made a decision to to move back to uh, mm -hmm. Maryland. Right, and I'm curious. You had probably been away from UMBC, the campus, for a number of years, and and then you came back. I'm just curious what your reaction was on what you saw and what you e experienced <laughs> and what that was like. Well, coming back, it was really uh, it was interesting to be this close to the activity at UMBC, and it's always been a keen interest of mine just how UMBC is doing. And of course, right, these days, he, that we're doing terrifically with, um, with Freeman's you know, recognition and what have you. That's been really great. But I, I was more shocked than anything about something you pulled off. <laughs> Uh-oh, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> when, you, you, when you put together that recognition the event for the, uh, regarding my activity in the, in the program, I was just amazed at the turnout of people, of students, former alumni, and um, it was very impressive to me that uh, an organization could recognize your work the way that you all did. I was, to use the term, flabbergasted. <laughs> well, I, I think it was the right thing to do, and I think you've been tremendous at helping others and recognizing others' achievements, and I think you, you deserve the same. Well, I really appreciate it very much.